you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I would never give up. Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In today's video we will know how Elon Musk managed to become the richest man in the world, and what are the secrets of successful people. Sit back and watch until the end will be very interesting. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Many things have been deemed impossible, until someone proved they were possible. Elon Musk is a man who dreams big. Getting humans to Mars and weaning the world off fossil fuels aren't exactly easy to achieve goals. Can Musk make it happen? That remains to be seen. By all accounts, he's making some serious progress. Carmen Gallo at Inc. recently attempted to outline Musk's three key steps necessary to achieve the impossible. It turns out that Eric Berger, author of Liftoff, had unprecedented access to Musk and dozens of SpaceX employees, many of whom are still with the company today. Inc.'s Gallo sat down with Berger to better understand how Musk inspired his SpaceX staff during the company's desperate early days to do what no one thought possible. Dream big. In the early days of SpaceX, Musk's vision of getting to Mars was crazy hard and nearly impossible. But it was not entirely impossible. The challenge motivated scientists and engineers to figure out a way to do it. People often overestimate what they can accomplish in a year. Musk is guilty of missing many self-imposed deadlines, but they underestimate what they achieve in a decade. By keeping his team focused on the big picture, Musk made sure his employees never forgot what they were striving for. Celebrate small wins. After articulating the big vision, Musk drilled down and kept his team focused on achieving one step after another. Musk came up with ways to challenge engineers. For example, Musk promised one scientist working on computer simulations that he would buy a frozen yogurt machine for the office if the employee hit an ambitious deadline. Musk lost the bet. The yogurt machine is still in the cafeteria at SpaceX headquarters. Successful entrepreneurs know that the only way to grow big is to take small steps. So take tiny steps, even if the final destination is hard to reach. And make sure you celebrate each win. When knocked down, get back up. Musk is a relentless optimist who refuses to accept defeat. After the failure of the first rocket launch, SpaceX's 300 employees felt demoralized, but Musk was able to make a powerful shift in their attitude. First, Musk offered perspective. He told them about other iconic rockets that had failed their early tests. Second, he focused on what went right, praising the team on the performance of the rocket's main engine, its avionics system, and more. Musk concluded, SpaceX is in this for the long haul and, come hell or high water, we are going to make this work. One employee said that, even though the first launch failed, they'd walk through walls for Musk after listening to his pep talk. Entrepreneurs face more failures than successes, especially in the early years of building their companies. Elon Musk experienced his share of setbacks, but how he convinces his teams to overcome those hurdles is a master class in motivation. In his new book, Liftoff, Eric Berger traces the desperate early days that launched SpaceX, Musk's rocket company. Berger told me he had unprecedented access to Musk and dozens of SpaceX employees, many of whom are still wit in 2002. Musk and a small team of scientists began building the Falcon 1 rocket from the ground up. It would take another six years and three failed attempts before the team finally achieved a successful launch. Many employees took pay cuts to follow Musk's vision and work 80-hour weeks, toiling under the blazing sun on Omelik Island, a tiny atoll in the South Pacific where the launches took place. Throughout those dark days, Musk encouraged his team by applying several motivational tactics I've seen from other inspirational leaders. Articulate a big vision. Musk founded SpaceX with the vision to make spaceships that will eventually take human settlers to Mars. To accomplish that vision, he had first to lower the cost of sending humans to space. The goal appeared to be impossible, since no privately funded company had ever achieved the necessary first step, building a rocket capable of reaching orbit. Here's the key. Musk's vision of getting to Mars was crazy hard and nearly impossible. But it was not entirely impossible. The challenge motivated scientists and engineers to figure out a way to do it. Musk's approach reminds me of John F. Kennedy's goal to reach the moon. In the early 1960s, most people thought it was unlikely that humans would set foot on the moon by Kennedy's deadline, the end of the decade. But a few intelligent, hard-working people thought it was still possible. Those moon scientists began to ask the question that Musk would also propose to his team. What would it take to make it happen? People often overestimate what they can accomplish in a year. Musk is guilty of missing many self-imposed deadlines, 
but they underestimate what they achieve in a decade. By keeping his team focused on the big picture, Musk made sure his employees never forgot what they were striving for. Break the vision into smaller steps. While Musk's vision is to turn humans into a truly multi-planetary species, the first step was to bring down the cost of launching a rocket and reusing it. Musk articulated the big vision early and often, but he kept his team focused on achieving one step after another. Musk came up with ways to challenge engineers. For example, Musk promised one scientist working on computer simulations that he would buy a frozen yogurt machine for the office if the employee hit an ambitious deadline. Musk lost the bet. The yogurt machine is still in the cafeteria at SpaceX headquarters. Successful entrepreneurs know that the only way to grow big is to take small steps. So take tiny steps, even if the final destination is hard to reach. And make sure you celebrate each win. Focus on what went right. Musk is a relentless optimist who refuses to accept defeat. After the failure of the first rocket launch, SpaceX's 300 employees felt demoralized, but Musk was able to make a powerful shift in their attitude. First, Musk offered perspective. He told them about other iconic rockets that had failed their early tests. Second, he focused on what went right, praising the team on the performance of the rocket's main engine, its avionics system, and more. Musk concluded, SpaceX is in this for the long haul and, come hell or high water, we are going to make this work. One employee said that, even though the first launch failed, they'd walk through walls for Musk after listening to his pep talk. How will you handle the relentless pressure of starting a business and the inevitable setbacks you'll face along the way? If success leaves clues, then follow the lessons Elon Musk has left. Start with a big vision, break it up into small steps, and celebrate those victories, and focus on the positive, even when you stumble. In fact, the absolute worst thing an employee at SpaceX, his rocket company, can tell him is that something is impossible, according to Ashley Vance's soon-to-be-released book, Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future. If an employee tells Musk a deadline or cost requirement as isn't possible, he will often kick them off their job on the spot. Elon will say, fine, you're off the project, and I am now the CEO of the project. I will do your job and be CEO of two companies at the same time. I will deliver it, former senior SpaceX engineer Kevin Brogan told Vance. What's crazy is that Elon actually does it. Every time he's fired someone and taken their job, he's delivered on whatever the project was. Vance's book is filled with examples of seemingly impossible things the SpaceX team has achieved. The team built rocket computing systems that cost only a little over $10,000, when the norm in traditional aerospace was over $10 million. They built specialty parts on budgets 1 20th the size of quotes they received from traditional manufacturers. Employees told Vance that Musk would pick the most aggressive time schedule imaginable assuming everything goes right, and then accelerate it by assuming that everyone can work harder. And SpaceX employees do work incredibly hard. One employee, Steve Davis, director of advanced projects, has reportedly been putting in 16-hour days every day for years. Employees have learned to work fast, too. For example, after a launch failure, SpaceX employees identified the likely causes in hours. Typically turnaround time from others in the launch business can range from weeks to months for failure investigations. I don't ever set intentionally impossible goals, Musk told Vance when asked about his lofty expectations. But I've certainly always been optimistic on timeframes. Brogan says Musk even pees fast. It's like a fire hose, three seconds and out, he says. He's authentically in a hurry. Elon Musk's fascination with space and all things out of the ordinary is well known around the world. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk and SpaceX founder Elon Musk have made significant investments in space research and interplanetary missions. As part of his various collaborations, he has also linked up with NASA to further their studies into space science. Now, a clip from a recent interview Musk gave as part of the Italian Tech Week event answered the billion-dollar question. The SpaceX CEO was invited to speak about Musk's response when asked what motivates him was something along these lines, the source of my inspiration is rather philosophical. The goal should be to broaden the scope and size of human civilization so that we can better ask the proper questions in search of the correct answers, which are reality or the universe. We must endeavor to ensure humanity's long-term survival and development, as part of the two-day event, which was held both in person and online. So if you want to be successful, you have to disappear for a while, make a vision and stick strictly to your plan. And don't forget failure always leads to success. Okay guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching, like the video, comment and don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time see you guys later.